Yeah. Okay, so this uh, first lightning talk is talk about uh, SQLite. You know this uh, database which is in a single file, no server whatsoever, and we can use SQLite from Perl, I guess. Many people do that for testing. There is a new thing, which is virtual tables. And virtual tables is just the same idea as we have already in Perl with the uh, tied variables. Everybody knows that we can have regular hash or we can have a tied hash, and the implementation of that is a bunch of methods in Perl. So in SQLite, they have this same notion for quite a long time. Uh, you can have a regular table, or you can have a virtual table. Uh, here is the syntax to, to use it. But the complicated thing up to now was that you had to write this extension in C code. And the new thing that will come with the, uh, new, uh, the, the last dev release of uh, DBD SQLite uh, has this notion of virtual tables, where you can write it in Perl. So, of course, it gives you a lot of possibilities to, to, to bind the SQL to your Perl data. Uh, so, the way to use that, you, you have first to declare uh, which class, Perl class, you are going to use, and attach that to some module name within the SQL world, and then you can create your virtual tables. And with the distribution, so with the next uh, DBD SQLite uh, distribution, come two virtual tables, which are already there. Um, one is uh, file content. And what this does is uh, a way to, to slurp the content from one file and expose that as one column. Um, I won't go into the details. The details say how you, in, where you start your uh, file hierarchy, which column from some other table gives you the name of the file. And you bind all this together, and you get a new table with the file content exposed as a column. And this is very useful if you want to use uh, full text indexing. Um, the SQLite has a very good uh, full text indexing uh, module called uh, FTS4. And using this machinery, you can full text index some data which is not in SQLite, but somewhere in your file system. So that's the first of these extensions. The other one is called uh, Perl Data. And the idea is uh, you have a virtual table from SQL which is bound to some Perl variable, global variable. And that global variable is either a list of hash refs or a list of array refs or just a single, uh, I called it call ref. Uh, it's, it's a single array. Why is that useful? Because you can communicate very easily between the SQL world and the Perl world. And I'm going to show just one example of that. Uh, here I define one global variable. It, it has to be our because it has to sit in the symbol table so that from the SQL we can bind to that. So I'm declaring a reference to the argv array. And then I'm binding that to some table within uh, SQLite called uh, iArray. And this is a very easy way then to, to uh, uh, do a select where I, 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 I take one value which has to belong to, to that iArray. Uh, beware, because it goes in both directions. So here, in this example, I'm reading data from the Perl variable, but I can also write data. So if I do an insert from the SQL, into that table, the result is I will push some new value in my argv uh, Perl variable. So it goes both ways, and it's a nice way to integrate it. Um, that's all I wanted to say. You can try that either in the GitHub of dbdsqlite, or uh, it's also in the CPAN dev release, uh, the, the latest one. Thank you.